Welcome back, you lovely people. This is our latest Camper King video. She's so. He's Paul, and today we're going to be taking a look at the ultimate in family campus, the Santorini. This is space, the final frontier. Imagine you're a huge family, there's six of you, you've got a dog, a budgerigar, pet cat, and you all want to go on a holiday together. This is the van that lets you do it. Because it's not just a long wheelbase, it's like a mysterious TARDIS with how much space it's got inside, isn't it? It is, because you've got Isofix seats so you can put your proper kids seats in the back, but then they've managed to do all of that, massive floor space, and then there's a boot as well. Absolute magic. It's not just magic on the inside, though. Look how it looks from the outside. Look <laughs> at these lovely wheels we've got on here. Twenties. Nice bit of colour as well on the wing mirror. It doesn't have to be boring, does it? Just because it started life as a commercial vehicle doesn't mean you can't make it your own. But enough of that. Let's go and sit inside. Come on, let's After go. Oh, oh, suit you. Suit you. I'll tell you what, Sophie Fish, it looks and feels like a Lamborghini Urus in here. All this yellow, mm. all of this beautiful black leather, yellow stitching. It's premium, isn't it? It's very premium. And that, I think, is one of the reasons why Camper King have won yet another award. Look. As voted by the public as well, this one. Camper Van Awards from this year, 2023, Converter of the Year. Do you know what? That is impressive. That's like winning Best Picture at the Oscars, but voted for by the people that watch the films. That's impressive. At the end of the day, the public are the people that matter, aren't they? It's the camper van owners that matter. They're the ones that are living with these vans day in, day out, talking about living with Come vans on. day in, day You've out. Had an idea, I've had tell. an epiphany. Now, don't get me wrong, this is great for trips, you can use it for the school run, all those kinds of amazing things. Great for holidays, obviously. Obviously. Working from home though, why don't more people work from a camper? That's a really clever idea, because actually if you were going to spend, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 grand on a home office, mm -hmm. instead you could use that as a deposit for your van, and here you have everything you need. You've got a table for your computer, toggle your phone, got a sink, and a hob for a brew, mm -hmm. got a fridge for your lunch, but look out the window, it could be any way you want. It's great because you can disconnect to connect. Hey, I like that, that's the future, I'm stealing that. Talking of which, should we sign a van out and get a bit of camping action? Yeah, come on, let's go for it. Because with this fridge, we can have the biggest lunch and I think we can have scones. Oh, now you're talking. Come on, let's hit the road. You want to drive, don't you? Yeah, I do. You yeah. always want to drive. Come on. The first thing you notice as you jump behind the wheel of your Santorini is how car-like it is to drive. But then being based on the multi-award winning VW Transporter, that should come as no surprise. It's as happy making short hops as it is eating at motorway miles. So whether it's a fun day trip or European Grand Tour, the Santorini laps it up. Although it's a long wheelbase van, the Santorini is easy to park and place, making it a perfect alternative as your second vehicle or even a daily driver. But unlike ordinary motor cars, this one has several clever tricks up its sleeve, which you'll find out the second you arrive at your favourite campsite. Nicely driven. How about that weather, so? Oh, it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Today is all about relaxation. Then, once you've arrived at the site, it's time to make the Santorini your home away from home. And everything you need is there. The optional Fiamma awning pops out in seconds, and the standard pop top is even quicker. Plenty of light and stacks of headroom. Then it's simply a case of twisting those front seats to make the perfect lounge setup. Always good to add in a little recline, just in case you fancy a snooze later. And it doesn't matter if you're preparing a three course meal or just having a brew. The contemporary kitchen has everything you need, including stacks of storage space and a 50 litre fridge. And if the camper you're considering doesn't have a wine rack, you're missing a trick. Always handy to charge your phone, of course. The onboard water tank is a doddle to fill, giving you running water on tap. And thanks to those clever occasional tables, you're never stuck for somewhere to eat, read, or just park your teacup. Talking of which... Add in accessories like solar power, mobile Wi-Fi, sat-nav, a tow bar or parking sensors, and you've got the van of your dreams. And that clever Isofix rear seat folds away in seconds to give you a large and very comfortable bed.
The only question each day is, should one dine inside or out? Do you know what, Sophie? I've had the most relaxing day today. It's been really relaxing. I think it's because we've got so much space, haven't we? That's what this van is all about, isn't it? Because all long wheelbase vans are the same size, but for some reason, the way this one's laid out, and particularly in this colour with the large interior, mm. it feels enormous. It's enormous, but what I really like about it is there's so much clever storage. So you don't have to worry about kind of not being able to take things with you. There's loads of places to put everything that you need and more, really. So much storage space. The other thing I've thought about this as well, because this is aimed at families, so it's only long wheelbase. You can have this as a six seater. It easily sleeps four, and that's before you start talking about your awnings. If you've got little kids, it's great because you've got safety features like yeah. the, the crib net at the top. That's good if you're old as well, actually, to be fair. It's good for me, that is, after a couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> but also, if you've got teenagers, so I've got two teenage daughters, and when they come camping, all they want is USBs. Mm. I have never seen so many no. USBs or plugs <laughs> in a van in my life. So so that, even if you've got six people that need to charge their phones, you're going to have enough sockets for that. Mate, and the you? rest, because you've got yeah. two C's here, you've got two B's there, two B's there, you've got two B's in the boot, yep. plus you've got loads of three pins everywhere. So it doesn't matter how many devices you need to run, Got it covered. And you don't even need to be hooked up. That's the other thing. You could be in the middle of nowhere. We've got no hookup today. We've got running water. We can boil a kettle. We can charge our phones. We can charge our camera gear. Living the dream. And if you want to go fully off grid, you can always get some solar put on the roof as well, couldn't you? That's a really good keep idea. Keep your fridge running all the time as well then. Keep your wine nice and cool. Well, this is the other thing I love about Santorini. To me, this is the best compromise between worktop space. You've got a two hob, really big sink so you can do washing up in the van. To me, this does everything so, so well. This is specified as a five-seater, but you can order it with a bench on the front and it spins around as well. Nothing it can't do. You've got this nice kind of seating area here. You can go upstairs. You can really separate where everyone is so they've got their own space. And I love a pop-top on a long wheelbase fan because for me, at six foot four, I can stand in more than half of that roof. So you've got so much room. So I can be standing here doing bits and bobs, making a cup of tea, you can have people sitting and reading there. You can fold the bed down. It's the versatility for me. And the other thing as well, if you just have this as your only family vehicle, so if this is what you take the kids to school in, what you run around in, it's not so long you can't park it. It's still very usable because it's just a Volkswagen mm. Transporter, particularly if you order it with DSG. It's a proper cruiser. I think it is a work of genius. It's literally perfect for all of your different trips that you need to do, whether it's day to day, special trips, overnight trips. This is an IKEA run. Can you imagine if you folded the bed down? what IKEA stuff you could get in here if this was your only vehicle. You could get a whole road's worth, not just a whole house. <laughs> but you could never find a flat pack wardrobe. You just put a wardrobe in it, can't you? Just lay it down over the bed and it can come into the cabin. So this to me is genius. This, you shouldn't have a favourite child, should you? But of mm. all the Camper King conversions, I think Santorini is my favourite just because of the size, the feeling of space you get, the versatility. Go on, what's yours? What's your favourite conversion? I think for me, it's got to be the Pursuit because I don't have any mm. kids, so I can get all of my toys in there. My bike, I've got that lovely shower on the back as well. I can put the tent on the roof if we're going to take some mates with me. Yeah. So it's perfect for me, but I think, yeah, this, if you've got a family, this is a no-brainer. You can use it for work, day-to-day -day life, trips, everything. It's a chalet on wheels, isn't it? Yeah, it's with more veranda. Than that. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the beauty of Camper King, isn't it? Whatever you're into, whatever age you are, whatever your family situation, mm -hmm. no matter how many dogs you've got, there's a camper van for you, isn't there? All budgies. All budgies, yeah. <laughs>